It is a terrible thing for an entire people to surrender to the notion that one-ninth of its population is beneath them. And until that moment, until the moment comes, <coughs> when we, the Americans, we, the American people, are able to accept the fact that I have to accept, for example, that my ancestors are both white and black, that on that continent we are trying to forge a new identity for which we need each other, and that I am not a ward of America. I am not an object of missionary charity. I am one of the people who built the country. Until this moment, there is scarcely any hope for the American dream, because the people who are denied participation in it by their very presence will wreck it. And if that happens, it's a very grave moment for the West. Thank you. What I like about DePaul is the ability that it has to bring students together. And what I mean by that is that there is not a lot of people of color on campus, but we still have the opportunity and a lot of um, different groups that we can migrate to and have our spaces to ourselves. DePaul attracts very driven and hardworking um, people who are leaders all on campus. Like every DePaul student I know is involved in like six things and the leader of at least one thing. I like this community. I like that when I'm on campus, I feel like I'm surrounded by empowering figures, both my professors and my peers who are excited about encouraging me and being a support system to me, but also remind me that I have a lot of work to do, whether that be in the classroom or out of the classroom. To continue into that, um, the sense of community that is sort of built at DePaul. It can be toxic at times, yes, but on the flip side, I've also learned that it is what you make it, right? So I've met some really talented, beautiful, wonderful souls on this campus that, you know, what could help me make the change and sort of endure this idea of being black on campus. Through the ups and downs that DePaul has, there's always people I feel like I can go to or I can laugh with, I can cry with. But when I came onto campus and started meeting a lot of people that shared a lot more of the identities that I shared and who kind of challenged me to see new perspectives and new identities, I think that I was very attracted to that. I truly would not be here if it weren't for the person that I that they have helped make me today. Um, I've grown professionally, academically, socially, personally, and spiritually, all because of the people that I've met here and truly their family. Even though I love my friends and a lot of the relationships that I've made here, it's not a safe space for all of the students who are on this campus. And additionally, the whole culture, I feel like at a lot of times is toxic, whether that's because the academic stakes feel so high or because Greek life just like permeates into every part of DePaul's culture. DePaul as an institution has so many other institutions within it that are dividing students and um, because of that we're just not able to unite as one and work for a better DePaul. How do I make, how do I make the best of a campus that is hurting? That doesn't want to change, but expresses change with diversity and inclusion. Um, how do I accept that there are some things that are out of my power? If your experience is not that of being uh, white, being middle class, being heterosexual, being all these things that we appreciate as 
the norm. If you're not those things, a lot of times it feels like your voice and your perspective isn't taken into consideration or value. DePaul has a lot of um, tension on campus. I think there could be a lot less tension if people just talk to each other and got to know each other's stories and um, their background and why they are the way they are. I feel like um, DePaul has just a lot of unnecessary separation between people groups and that could be fixed so easily if people just talk to each other. But at the same time, it's like, Damn, why does the world have to feel like it stops right outside of marbles? <laughs>makes it easier for other people, even um, students that are not black and don't really understand our culture, um, making it easier for them to adapt and adjust and accept my my differences and I'm, I can be confident in who I am as a person. I'm excited about the future of DePaul because I think our current group of students have taken a big step in calling out bias incidents and calling out the system to make sure that we hold each other accountable. But we have yet to employ new ideas, new resolutions, and new direction. Here at DePaul University, we have failed multiple times and countless times to engage and focus on inclusivity rather than diversity. Regardless of their race, religion, background, gender, sexuality, I wish people would put away all of that and see people um, for people, and that's what's going to matter when we leave DePaul anyways, is the people that we met and made connections with. And I think this place would be a better place if people just got to know each other for who they are. Students are here to learn. Um, college is supposed to be the most exciting time to be a student. And I think that a lot of times when you hear about the perspectives of students of very different identities, you get a very different picture of what college meant for them. Coming to DePaul was one of the best decisions that I ever made for myself. And all the students, all members of DePaul, faculty and staff and administration are doing as much as they can to make this institution a great one. That being said, it's definitely hard to see that right now. Um, I wish DePaul and the students would have a better connection, the administration, when I say DePaul, and the students have a better connection. I wish there was more of a student voice for stuff that can go on on campus. The changes with academics, the professors, faculty members, everybody's just leaving and everything is shifting because nobody is aware of like what DePaul used to be like. But I hope that we can also leave a legacy that will empower the future students of DePaul. It takes all of us to have the initiative and engagement with each other to have these conversations to deconstruct our personal biases and to construct a better sense of awareness of others' experiences and our own personal experience. And the future of DePaul like, is something that, again, I really love. It's like, you know, the space is small enough that if we all want to make the work happen and make the change, we really got to be about it. Um, and so it starts now. The future really does start now. Camera one is rolling. Okay. Just make sure you speak up. I got you. Camera two is rolling. Action. What I like about DePaul University is its abilities as well as its opportunities to allow students to engage in institutional research and networking. What I dislike about DePaul no, no, no. Just, just hold it. Oh, just yeah. wait? Yeah, it's going to be a separate thing. How do you feel? How did that feel though? Uh,
the sun.